Aloha, it's Eric and Julie with 365 Hawaii. And today... Today? What are we doing today, Julie? Oh, we started off eating something really tasty. Uh, we are at Punalu'u Bake Shop in uh, Nahalehu, and it's in the southern part of Big Island, because we're on our way to... <gasps> Volcano! We're going to do a video on all of Volcano Village is our plan, and we're staying at the... Where are we staying? At the Kilauea Lodge. Yeah, so that should be fun, so we're going to take you guys all along. Uh, we're also going to stop next at the Black Sand Beach, because you guys always love that. Right, and so if you are new to the Big Island, um, one of the things that you do when you come here is you go to Volcanoes National Park. And sometimes when you fly into Kona, you go, what, two and a half, my, two and a half hours? Yeah, about that. So okay, there's a couple things you should do on the way there, and one of them is stop at this bakery, get the malasadas, and then maybe a sandwich, get kind of, and you can use the bathroom, and then you head down to Black Sands Beach because... It's really good. Because you're going to see some really awesome sea turtles. <laughs> oh, right, all right. I wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> it's so, a nice place to stop. How yeah, is that? Yeah, you but know? the turtles are the, are the draw. Yeah. Uh, and the Black Sand Beach. Yeah. So we don't know what's going to happen after that, but we at least know that we're here and we're going to go there next. And that's the plan. Okay. So let's take you guys along. sand beach and if you come here um the sand's going to be hot if it's sunny but you have to walk all the way out here to be able to see the sea turtles that like to haul themselves up and are right in this little area uh keep your distance but uh let's go see if uh, one will give us a little wave at us look at there's a hanu right there So here we are at the Kilauea Lodge, and uh, interesting to note, the Kilauea Lodge was actually built in 1938 um, as part of a YMCA camp, and then it changed uh, during the war in 1942 to a radio camp, and obviously now it is a place to stay, and we are just about to check in. Woo. With the fireplace um, before we go to Volcanoes National Park, but uh, I'll tell you, look how cute these little mugs are. So we're off to dinner at Kilauea Lodge next. Let's go in. I am hungry and ready and I'm excited because I smell good things. So when she said the special was baked brie, she didn't even get to coconut crusted before I said, yes, please, please. It's like the holidays. <laughs> I'm having a good, having a good meal. Got a fire in the fireplace. And this place has got a lot of art in it. And as a former artist, I'm definitely impressed with uh, the, wall, the volcano art scene. So that's tomorrow for us. But today, it's nice to have a good meal with art. Do you know how many spin classes Eric and I have to take to keep bringing you guys the good food that we keep showing you guys? A lot. All of these different pieces from around the world are in here. And some of it is a dinosaur backbone. Some of the pieces are from the Acropolis, Yosemite, uh, different places like the Dead Sea. This is like a crazy experience of... A, the world coming together on this friendship uh, fireplace. If you get a chance to be here, ask them for this like map. And what you can find here is coins from around the world. But knowing that in here are like dinosaur bones, the Acropolis, really?
All right, it's 7 a.m. here at Volcanoes National Park and we're at Jagger Museum. It is clear, like really clear. We've got Mauna Loa over here. And what's also interesting is, for you, I don't see this very often, Mauna Kea, super clear as well. So we're gonna go check out the new overlook. It's not new, it's an old overlook, but it's being able, they've opened it up recently. So so we're standing outside of uh, the Jagger Museum and the last time that we were here was in May of 2018 and we came here with our children and uh, 2,000 people showed up that night because there was a lava lake that was behind me in the caldera and it was overflowing the rim and uh, it was just beautiful and the glow was so big. We had no way of knowing within a few days that there would be a major earthquake and all that lava would drain out and end up over in uh, Puna and it would become what they knew as fissure eight and it would go off for four months after that and this place would be rocked with over 10,000 earthquakes. So the buildings behind me have been damaged from those earthquakes but today is one of the first days we're gonna get a chance to be able to see the rim because this, this whole area has been closed for a long time too. But um, good memories of bringing the kids here over the last 15 years looking out uh, across the crater. So um, I hope that they come back with this because uh, it's a beautiful space to be in. This is the hardened lava. The last time that we were out here was December of 2020. We were on the other side of the uh, volcano. We were watching all of it kind of explode into this uh, into the caldera and filled the caldera. Something like 700 feet of lava came in. So that was pretty spectacular to be the bat that day. But it's also interesting to come here today and be part of this changing landscape and see that it has all hardened since that time. Thurston Lava Tomb has been closed for a long time too, so of course being in Volcanoes National Park you have to check out the Thurston Lava Tube. Most people don't bring light sticks into the Thurston Lava Tubes. You guys are going to get a chance to see some of the, uh, the walls when it's fully illuminated. Okay, so one of the reasons they closed the lava tube was because they were worried that things were falling down from the ceiling. And lo and behold, this is the first that we've seen that they did put caution sticks up because some of the ceiling did fall down. One of the things that's interesting to do if you come to the Volcano House is that there's a space inside that you can sit on a rocking chair and you can drink your coffee in the morning because the morning is the best time to be able to catch this view behind me. And you get a chance to look at the caldera. And during the time when the lava lake is actually glowing, this is where people come and eat dinner and watch the glow from the uh, Volcano House. But also when you're standing here, you can feel the power of the energy that's here at the crater. And uh, if you just sit and just be quiet for just a little bit, you really can feel something special here. Here we are at the Volcano Art Center, and this is the art center part that they have in Volcano Village. And the other one, uh, their main gallery, is actually inside uh, Volcanoes National Park. And they have a beautiful nature trail here that you can do tour yourself, or on Mondays, you can actually have a docent-led tour for free. So um, if you'd like to support the arts, let's go inside. supporting local artists. I got some really cool bracelets and necklaces. Lovely ending to a beautiful, what, 24 hour away staycation. Yeah, yeah. And unlike travel vloggers, we end up doing everything very quickly because <laughs> we live here. So right. we don't have time to spend a week going to different places. But uh, but you could definitely spend at least two or three days in Volcano and do all the stuff that we're doing and do it slower. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. But and we, one and, thing. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, we got quite a day today, too. The, uh, uh, here it is noon, and the clouds are starting to come over, and it's going to rain shortly. So I'm glad we got everything done in the morning. Yeah. Welcome to Volcano. Uh, but uh, if you stay at the Kilauea Lodge, one of the things they offer is um, a picnic lunch for you, and they give it to you in a basket, and they give it to you on a blanket, and you can take it uh, anywhere on the property. Um, and, uh, you know, they give you sandwiches and brownies and stuff. And we made ours extra special by bringing the canned Mai Tai. <laughs> so, uh, Eric, let's talk a little bit about us uh, how this trip has been <laughs> sure so anyway so um we're good I, yeah? i've enjoyed myself oh here let's try this i haven't tried this before what's it is uh no it's like a little mai tai thing what do you think uh i like mai tais yeah mm -hmm. hey and also breakfast this morning too we forgot to yep. tell them that we had breakfast here at the kilauea lodge and uh, i had um eggs benedict and uh we had a beautiful view out over the uh garden in the back and then we also obviously you guys saw that we went to volcano this morning and that was epic it was it was epic. That I think that was definitely the high point of the last little bit was getting there with no people and having to be so clear and cl uh, cloudless. Yep. So uh, if you are living on this island, uh, this is a really great staycation. Um, and if you're traveling here, uh, getting a chance to spend time in the park and also around Volcano um, and go, you know, tooting around the art galleries, uh, it really it's a it's a great weekend. Definitely good. Okay. And with that, we'll say. And don't, forget, there's a lot, and don't forget to subscribe to 365 Hawaii. And uh, if you want to learn more about things to do on the island, 365kona.com. Very good. Aloha.